Hello, happy Friday and welcome back. In today's video tip of the day, we're checking camshaft end play. We didn't have to do that back in the day because Chevrolet, Ford and Chrysler didn't have anything to hold the cam in place. And as it ran and you accelerated, the cam just got pushed back and you decelerated, it made me forward. We used to use a cam button up here on top to stop that from happening. But how do you check your clearance? Clearance, here we go. We have a dial indicator at the back with the freeze plug before we install it. So if you're assembling the engine, this is a perfect way to do it. Put it up front. Then we're gonna go ahead, take our screwdriver. Be careful with the camshaft, don't get medieval with it, and check your clearance, okay? So what do we have here? We have 11, we have 12 thousandths clearance so far. That's okay, because we have a cam button Right now I have a test cam button in here. I like to put a test one in there, check the clearance, measure that one as compared to the one we're gonna use. But this is what I'm talking about, a cam button. So this sits in the front of the camshaft. I'll show you that when I pull the cover off and there's a clearance you want in there. You want about 4,000 clearance. You don't want it rubbing on the timing cover and you don't want it in there all, all slamming real loose. But Essentially, we want to keep the cam stable now because we're going to go with the roller cam. On a flat tappet, hydraulic, even a solid, the lifter was just flat and the cam could move and not really affect many things besides affecting performance and timing because it's going to affect your ignition timing, which is going to affect performance. So on a roller cam, we don't want that cam moving back and forth. You can actually move far enough forward to get into another lifter. That roller will not be centered. It'll get to the end. All kinds of damage could occur by not using a cam button, and it didn't come with the cam button. All right. I guess that's it. Tip of the day. Use a dial indicator at the back of the block. Right now is the easiest time to do it. You can move it back and forth. Easy to check. I got a smaller button in front. I can measure it, and then I can machine the new one. And that's how you do it. I guess I should end it with how do you fix this problem, right? Well, then you machine this. You take off the little nylon tip off of it, put it on the lathe, cut it down, grind it, whatever you want to do, put the nylon tip back on. And that's how you correct your cam, um, your cam clearance on the front. And they make these in different lengths. They also make it in a roller bearing, which is harder to set. But anyway, tip of the day.